Hello everybody, this is Mon Retro Gamer, and welcome to Lumini. Developed by, I think, Spielbar? Spielbars is the developer, and published by Rising Star Games. This game came out on the 3rd of September. Uh, I really should have probably recorded it earlier. Um, and I'm playing it at 720 at medium settings. Because although my desktop is able to run at 1080p, ultra high graphics, perfectly, sadly my laptop, which is what I'm currently using, cannot. Um, it's a very beautiful game, and just there's a lot of little touches that really make it feel even better than it already is. Like, as you can see, like, as I move the menu cursor, that's me. Up, up. Sorry. Up, up. Down, down. Down, down. Up, up. Okay. Okay, not entirely accurate, but most most of it. And there's a couple of, like, extra things you get. Like, this is the Lumini. This is the first Lumini you get in the game. Look at it. I made him upside down and he's doing a flip. Then, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff that you encounter. And you actually discover all of these different things through, basically, playing the game and discovering little crystals in off, in off areas off to the side. I've already played a bit, but for you guys, I'm going to start a new game. And we are going to play for, I don't know, 15 so minutes. It's going to get us a fair amount through the game. Well, not a fair amount through the game, but we should encounter all four types of Lumini. The purple, blue, red, and yellow. And what makes this very interesting, it's recommended you use a controller. I say as the beautiful cutscene is playing, but um, if you use a controller, they're actually color-coded, except for the purple Lumini, or the basic Lumini, which is on the A button of your Xbox 360 controller, which is green. But other than that, perfectly, perfectly correct. Uh. A thing fell down and it's sliding, more sliding, slippy slide away, down. There we go, what do we get? A Lumini! Now the Luminis come with these little stun attacks. However, different ones are actually more or less powerful. So each of these you can only activate once, which is annoying. But uh, each time you encounter one of those giant glowing cubes, which, I must admit, reminds me of... What's it? Zal cubes or other... I don't remember where I'm remembering, like, Zal cubes from, but... I do remember them from somewhere. Okay, this this one's reactivated. This is to uh, basically demonstrate the first mechanic of the game, which is the splitting up. So, I can come in here, and then I can get this guy to come off that, and he can come join us. And then we continue on. We basically collect the little blue glowy things, and red is not our friend in this fight. Oh, there's a hole. So if we go through this hole, there's a bonus. Some more glowy things. And as you can see, like, in the background, as we pass the blue crystal, it'll light up. Which is a good way to actually tell where you've been going, or if you've traveled a certain way already. They've really thought this game through, and it's actually so... It, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of rambling, because it's so gosh darn pretty, but it can be quite hard as well, because there are enemies. We just haven't encountered any of them yet. I mean, we're just flying along down this cave. We're going down like a giant throat. And here we go, and stuff... Our first enemy... And as with any enemy, red is death. Unless it's a red lumini. In which case, red is our friend. 
But other than that, it is death. Unless red is a friend, it is death. Okay. Yeah. Don't get confused. Okay, you need to do it this way. This is another one of the objects that's in the game. Uh, basically, a spinny wheel to use to get things to work. Uh, again, more red. You have to be careful, because these Lumini are incredibly fragile. Uh, if they get hit once, they did. And remember, you can only create more Lumini. Oh, secret. Or is it a... Yeah, it's a secret. You can see from the uh, location of the crystal. This is where you can get the purple crystals. Uh, they come in little cubby hole sides. Uh, the first one is incredibly easy to find. That is the first one. But uh, later ones are a little more difficult. Okay, so we're going to head up... Here we're gonna collect all the dish thing and actually, is there anything up there? Um, over controls, I don't remember exactly. Why? Don't be on the ceiling, dude. Gravity is gonna get annoyed, and you know. Actually, can I stun him and make him fall off? No, I can just stun him. Oh well. Stunning him is better than nothing, I guess, so... Oh, uh, another crystal. And here we get more Lumini. And for our first Lumini... Is the red, which carries with it a second... Or, sorry, a more powerful stun. And the blue Lumini, which has a super speedy dash and is my go-to Lumini whenever I'm kind of playing because by this point I have like five hours on this yeah five whole hours I'll admit some of it was just trying to get the graphics to work on the laptop but still and that's another enemy it's a flower it puts those up and if they hit one of our lumini that lumini is dead that's so dead which is why it's good to dash uh, I really, I really like the dashing because there's no point to really engaging in actual combat. Oh, this is where the puzzly elements start. Hey, ambidextrous, ambidextrous. There we go. Come on, come on, lads. In. Oh. Uh, uh. You know what? Rejoin. In we go. Because it makes no sense. For, I'm not very good at this, using twin sticks. Um, okay, and here is our first use of the stun to actually do something. We broke through that. Now... More... more things... It's just a beautiful game. You're just basically exploring a cave. However, the further you travel, um, kind of the more stuff you encounter, so you kind of get the feeling there's this lost civilization. Like, even the character... Okay, that's the first enemy. As you can see, it is faster than us. Which means it's best to kind of just dash out of the way. Or in this case, just amble along. And we beat us by basically having the head start of not going directly next to it. Okay, and now we just run through here and we're gonna get the crystal. But we're also gonna get a bunch more of the birdies. Sorry, I said the white things earlier, the little glowy things that are like seeds of the Lumini. Is it Lumini or Lumini? I've always assumed it's Lumini, because Lumini. It's like light, luminous. Lumina? What's the Latin? It's probably Lumina. It's probably Lumina for light. I'd, I'd say light is feminine as opposed to masculine. 
And, you know, as I said, avoid red, unless you're playing as this red. But otherwise, no. Ah, uh, jeez. I do not like set. I do not like almost losing my Lumini, because I have a very bad track record of losing Lumini. Like, I've played this for almost five hours, as I've said already, and this is about the number of... Oh, we've lost our first one. And uh, stay up. Close. Come on, we don't want to lose anyone else. We only have two reds. We have four blues and three purples. It's actually a very good way to tell what abilities you have almost lost. Because all of these abilities are useful. Well, I suppose the reds, not so much. The yellows will come up soon enough, and I have actually no idea how they work. I don't know what they do. But other than that, other than that, there's there's more important things. Oh, jeez. Oh, good. Um, how about no? Get away. Whew. And that's how you escape. Yeah, we missed some of the glowy thingies, but ultimately, I think the survival of our current set of Luminies will be better. And here's our next crystal. Does this give us the yellows, or is yellows later? Yellows are later, and we still only have two reds. Interesting. And they're demonstrating the splitting mechanic again, which is interesting. But, um... There we go. And we're into the purple. You know, the, the default Lumini are kind of hard to see here. We have so many blues. Okay, I think the collection mechanic actually changes depending on what type you collect it with. I'd assume, considering the Luminies, so many blues. Like, all we got were blue. And all I was playing as was blue, so... Uh-oh. Oh, I moved to red. I meant to move to... Oh, we lost to purple. Actually, let's just play as... We've got our stun, if we need it. We've got this long trail of blues. They should be, like, forming a spearhead. Because they're, like, super fast, and we're gonna get in their, like, slipstream. And we're gonna be faster, because science... But no, no, they want to follow the leader, even if the leader is one of the characters. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. And do a twirl? Ha. Huh. It's just a fun game. Um, it's very ambient. There's not much in the way of story that you see directly, but as I have said, there is bits of story that you can kind of tell just from playing the game that some form of lost civilization, some kind of civilization that has fallen going on here. Um... We're getting a lot of the glowy stuff, which is good. Very, very mellow. Except when these guys are there. Oh god, we have to go up. Okay, this way. This way, guys. Okay, we've lost a lot of glowy things. But on the plus side... Okay, what's this? Okay. Oops. There we go. And through! Oh. A little organ going on. Which we could play if we were more competent at this game. Which is actually very interesting. And I think at this point, with this kind of vista, it would be a good way to let you guys off. Considering I don't know how the yellow lumini operate, I'm not really going to be able to tell you that much about them once we get them. Those look like Lumini in the background. And... They, 
these creatures look like they're worshipping them. So, yeah, there is a story. But what the story evolves into, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, down here? Down here is something or other that does something or other. I don't know what the green things do. I think they're like food. Food for the Lumini as opposed to like material to make them grow. And we're in this like adorable crystal, crystal area. See, so many, so much stuff and it's hard to stop playing because of this. Um, I really should, okay. At this crystal, Yellow Lumini, what did I, what did I tell you? Yellow Lumini, what does, what does it do? I don't know what the Yellow Lumini does, it just has this like attracting aura, but I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Does it just make everyone like, I don't know. Um, alright guys, this is Mon Retro Gamer signing off, and I'll see you guys next time with another game. Uh, maybe if you guys like Lumini, I'll play through more of it. Um, so, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you want. Uh, so, goodbye.